Um, Pisces, we do have the Six of Swords and the Hierophant. So somebody might be walking away from a commitment, from a marriage, or maybe it happened in the past and now we are dealing with the aftermath of, of that decision. For some of you, this is about peace of mind, right? The commitment doesn't give you peace of mind and we are on a crusade, right? To have some... Um, time alone and then you show up six of swords and the moon you are walking away from something or somebody i wonder why they might um right keep you on your toes six of swords is the energy of can you please leave me alone for a second kind of energy you know but can really mean wa walking away and we do have two of swords we are actually we might be contemplating to walk away and we do have the moon we are afraid a little bit we are in our emotions deciding to walk away it's not a little thing right it's a big thing so we might be a little bit afraid lost ten of swords some betrayal happening oh yeah we most certainly have to walk away from betrayal i am with you on that i don't think i would be i would think about it longer than five minutes you know but i'm just saying now Pisces, bottom of the deck, seven of pentacles. <laughs> oh my god. It's because you get the seven of pentacles twice. It's like, you know when we are stubborn and somebody needs to repeat something a couple of times because we are not hearing and we we hear but we don't understand or something like that. Oh well the universe is saying Pisces, you stay put, you please stay put, you know? <laughs> kind of energy seven of pentacles is the energy of um the harvest you having planted a seed um in regards to whatever you want to expand and you want to develop you want to chase you want to run after and harvest time is coming and you do have the queen of swords might be um gemini libra or aquarius energy and um I don't know, Pisces, if this is not a message of... Because Queen of Swords can be very well your energy, right? And um, it's kind of the universe saying, you know, let's be smart about it. Let's have good communication about it. Let's be clear about it. And, um, you know, a little bit like, um, you know, let's step back a bit and wait for the right time. Well, I don't know. I don't know where you want to run, but it's like, you know, let's, um, let's be strategic about, you know, kind of kind of energy but we'll see with the rest of of the energies for some of you maybe some maybe this queen of uh, swords is patient and it's all over your energy somebody really waiting and because it's seven of pentacles seven of pentacles um pisces you might be waiting and your soulmate might be waiting right it's not you being stubborn and not hearing might be you know because both of you are waiting on the right moment and being smart about a situation that requires a lot of patience also. I'm just saying. And can you please stop insulting people? Why stubborn? This, this is an... <laughs> I'm joking. Right? This is an insult. I do not accept insult. <laughs> I can hear somebody of Pisces out there saying, You cannot treat me as stubborn because you don't know me. Yes, I know. Let's see the outcome, Pisces. I know, right? I, I woke up playful. Anyways, um, let's see the possible outcome for March on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck. Again, this two of swords again. Two of swords. This is contemplating and this is also about inaction. This is believing that you don't see the whole situation and you might be blindfolded and not only that. But... Oh, you might have to choose between, oh, are you kidding me? Um, Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, and your beautiful energy over here. Um, so we might have to choose between two people, Pisces. We might have um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, an air sign, and a fire sign. We need to choose Two of Swords is also about um, indecisions about decisions, kind of, you know. So we might have to choose something, but we are not quite ready to make a choice. And here you show up in all your splendor. The Moon card, of course, an energy of confusion, being lost, kind of out in the woods. And the question on your lips, who am I supposed to choose? And might be a very passionate situation. We do have the uh, Knight of Wands. 
this is your body burning with desire and it's like yeah but who am i supposed to choose you know kind of energy because the knight of wands is very playful energy so it's like i need to play but what am i supposed who am i supposed to play with you know and we have options thank god with options we have <laughs> I'm teasing you, Pisces, but you get my point, right? I mean, the universe is clear, clear, clear. And if I'm picking up the energy of a Pisces who wants to rush somewhere, you get twice the seven of pentacles, two feminine energies, and your energy. So if this is not a clear message, I wonder what is. I'm just saying. Of course, there is another message for somebody. Please decide, you know, don't rush in both directions, you know, kind of, you know, make up your mind. Uh, choose passion for some of you, right? Whatever. I'm just saying. We do have the patience card. Anyways, mixed messages for somebody. And I can understand, right? Because if you are a little bit confused, this guy confusion will be all over this reading. Um, so Pisces, we do have the Five of Swords. So it was a hell of a fight in the past. You and this person might have been internal conflict, might have been taking advantage, might have been... Um, harsh words and we do have the chariot this is um you know uh i'm walking away i'm done uh breaking free and honestly the chariot is a very sudden energy it's like you know what we are very good yesterday and today i made up i've made up my mind and it's like i'm breaking free no thank you five of swords in my energy i'm not comfortable with and uh no thank you you know uh, we saw the Six of Swords a couple of times while shuffling, so we needed peace of mind. We needed peace of mind. We've made peace with this person and said, no, you know, take your harsh energy and uh, please leave me alone. But I feel you kind of walked away from it, right? The chariot is uh, bursting with energy in the opposite direction. Now, Pisces, the person you are dealing with, probably you had a family with. We do have the Ten of Pentacles. There are kids in the card. There is family in the card. There is stability. And then they had to start new from zero, from scratch. We do have the full. Um, and, yeah, they had to, they had no choice, actually, but to start a new cycle. Uh, this is an energy of living behind. Um, you know, the stability and the warmth of, the ho of a home. Um, you know, to jump off a cliff kind of energy in a sense of risk, taking risks, taking chances and and also, um, you know, they had, they had to. That's past energies, right? New beginnings on their side. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Four of Cups, a missed opportunity and then you show up here as the Knight of Cups. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, of course. We have Cancer a couple of times. Again, for some of you, it might be another water sign, and um, and the energy is very clear. Yeah, we had emotions, uh, we had stability, we have built something. That's the Ten of Pentacles, right? Putting together resources and uh, building a home, stability, children, having something that was good, but at some point we had enough with the fight. You know, maybe the energy of Seven of Pentacles is also for some of you a reminder we've been patient. Right? We put the effort, we planted the seed, um, and at some point a, cho uh, a, sorry, a choice had to happen. And I believe this is what, um, and again it's your energy all over the place, so I do believe that it was you really taking, making the decision and taking the lead um, of this situation. And whatever decision was made does look like, um, you know, you walked away and then they had no choice, but um, made them feel like a child again, you know, in need of guidance, but in the same time with the um, sense of adventure and uh, starting new. Now, Pisces, probably right now we are fighting the situation to courts, to, um, you know, asking for a divorce, pieces of papers, lawyers, all that. We do have the death and we do have the justice, right? So we want to formalize an ending here. Um... You know, we want to move away, um, you know, attach the last bits of a situation, make it official, make it formal, uh, make it on paper, signatures, and we know justice is all about judges and lawyers and uh, law and um, administrative uh, pieces of paper. So probably you are quite determined. Um, I would say it's quite a harsh energy. It's No, no, it's not harsh. It's 
a very brainy kind of energy. Let me do the right thing. And if this is an ending, well, let's make it an ending. Um, and uh, let's deal with whatever has to be done here. Uh, because on your side, I, that is this um, sense of breaking free, right? That's a chariot energy. I don't want to be a slave of this situation, you know? And they are worried sick by says about money and stability and foundation and how they will make money, how they will end the month. And we have the nine of swords with the four of pentacles. They right now are worried about resources, not having enough, um, you know, revisiting their relationship with money, what can what they can afford or not, and worried about their own stability. It um, changes completely something about money over here. Now, mutual energies between the two of you, we do have the King of Swords and we also have the Queen of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo, the Capricorn energy. And again, that Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, honestly, I, this is how it feels. It's like, I don't know if you are fighting for resources right now. If the decision in regards to law and something like that has something to do with money and financial stability, splitting assets, that kind of energy. But King of Swords is the man in the uniform or, um, you know, it's um, a symbol of government and justice system and legal system and all, all that. And also the energy of let me do the right thing might be cold, but I want to be fair, you know, kind of energy. And it's both on, it's mutual energies, right? Of course, because somebody worries about money, that's how we get the Knight of Pentacles, right? We know he builds uh, brick by brick steadily, but slowly. And it's about money. So somebody is really, uh, the energy right now, I, what I'm picking up on is... One is concerned about making things right and, you know, we want to end this the most, um, in the most clean kind of way. While the other person, the person you are dealing with, and again, you can swap the energies, is concerned of what am I going to do tomorrow, you know? Um, and they still have this uh, friendly energy. Knight of Pentacles, we know it's about uh, being a friend and also uh, being in, in um, action mode. And it's interesting, in the past we have the Knight of Cups and in the current energy we have the Knight of Pentacles. So we had emotions and love in the past. It was like, oh, you know, like a missed opportunity and now we are becoming very practical. You know, so we see the evolution. It's interesting of energies, right? Somebody rushing out the door and the other person finding themselves in, um, in a new kind of situation worrying about money and now they boom they become practical from emotional to practical and i feel on your side again pisces that is this i don't want to say cold because it doesn't feel cold it feels like i am going what i need to I, i'm going to do what i absolutely need to do and um, you know whatever guidance you receive because king of swords is also a counselor um and it has the counselor energy you, you know we're gonna make decisions based on professional advice so this is how it feels might come across cold but it's uh, at the end of the day it's a form of uh, making things right is a form of affection and a form of uh, love towards the other person you know and appreciation um Pisces an offer is coming your way wanted or not we do have the queen of pentacles Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and we have the page of pentacles we know this is about communication this is about an offer so they do have an offer for you. They don't want to let you go if that's the question. Now my point is we have Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. So I don't know how many, um, you know, um, admirers we can have in a month, but most certainly you have some. You have a handful kind of energy <laughs> and we might be, but I feel this is more about um, offer of stability. Uh, so I don't know if you are in negotiations right now, but definitely somebody is like, no, 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 I'm not done here. This is like, no, 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 um, Pisces, I'm not done with you. I still have something for you. Now, the person you are dealing with, we do have the high priestess, um, right? Um, silence, intuition, and we have the hangman. Um, this is observing you. This is expanding their mind to understand you. 
spiritual practices. High Priestess is also Pisces Cancer energy. And this is your energy, right? And um, with the hangman, this is your soulmate, the person you are connecting with, trying to understand you, trying to be smart about observing, um, noticing details, and um, maybe stalking you for some of you. Mutual energies between the two of you. In March, we do have the devil, Capricorn energy, and the seven of swords. I am not that sure, Pisces, that we are 100% honest with this person and I'm not sure they are fully honest with you. Um, we have this kind of, uh, I don't know if this is a toxic relationship, honestly, but I don't like the energy between you and this person, right? Um, and of course can be um, simply Capricorn energy, but it's paired with the Seven of Swords, something is hidden something is yet, not yet revealed to both of you and march is kind of a month of discovery <clears throat> and a month of seeking the truth um do i see a lot of uh, movement no i don't but i see you making an offer of this person an offer of justice and an offer of fair offer of ending something and i have you pisces moving forward here but that is, uh, that, is a, that is a secret between you and your person, right? That is a secret. That is something that nobody knows and that it's standing right between you and this person. And it might be with all the uh, feminine energies around you or the choices that you have. Might be that, that we keep hidden. Maybe, um, you know, some, maybe, maybe it's a passion. Maybe it's an obsession. That is something that is uh, between the two of you. Um, that is not yet spoken. For some of you, it's just simply the universe saying, keep walking, Pisces. It was way too toxic, right? Um, it was, I mean, uh, you don't know the full truth, but trust me, keep going kind of energy. That is a uh, very well one here. And uh, this combination of cards, Page of um, Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, most certainly that is an offer on the table for you. That's absolutely, and um, of any kind, one that you might see a possibility in, one that intellectually you like it and it, uh, it sounds good. So that is one. But then if it's too toxic, I mean, Seven of Swords with the Devil is definitely the universe telling to a Pisces, um no no thank you right we don't need this um yeah and they are suspended in time i don't know if this took them by, su by surprise pisces your decision i don't know maybe you were um ambiguous about at some point i'm sensing with the two of swords as the overall energy right this is an energy of i don't know but things are not working between the two of us and then there was nothing said and then there was um, and that is a problem that is a problem and finally you decide you know what i'm done 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 and the situation is surprising and suspended this person it's like their hands and uh, feet are tied um you know and worrying like crazy but it's way too toxic and i can understand if you come from a place of justice and understanding and fairness and it's like, uh, no, you know, this is way too, but I'm going to do the right thing. So I'm just saying, Pisces, I called out all the signs, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Pisces like yourself, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn a couple of times, Capricorn three times, Pisces, Cancer. Now let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do in regards to this connection, Pisces. And we do have surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. I so understand with the justice and all the endings, it's about time to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. Well, we do have surrender to passion, so you are passionate about something. So maybe this Queen of Wands on the 
as the overall energy might be you having a passion for somebody or something. So it says get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. So, oh, and it's interesting, right? It, it, it says get out of your head and the justice and the king of swords is exactly the energy of being in your head right now. It's interesting. And feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Oh yeah. Let's bring passion back and let's not be afraid of intimacy. I love this. We do have surrendered defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out, then offer a clear non-defensive response and Pisces we have the drama again swear to God the devil with the seven of swords might be a bit of drama right now and the universe is asking you you know what surrender the drama no matter how emotionally charged the situation remain calm and don't contribute to the drama staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly and we have the addictions and maybe the devil for March might be addictions we are going through or the person you are dealing with whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, Pisces, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? You know I wish you nothing but the best. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.